Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss, we do some practice examples in order to identify whether the given grammar is LL1 or not. In our previous classes, we already discussed the failure case of LL1 and the concepts of how to construct the table. Our assumption here is uh, you already know the concepts. Based on that assumption, we will explain you the class. So please watch our previous classes and come back here. This is a quick way to identify the given grammar is LL1 or not. So what's the situations we have to consider in order to do it in a quick way. Otherwise we have to construct the complete table and we have to check whether these two, if there are two productions in the same block, then it is a failure case. This point we already discussed previously. Let's take the situation. A tends to alpha, beta, gamma. If our production is of the form like this, uh, what is first of alpha? Assume that if it is A. What is first of beta? Assume that if it is A. Means alpha, beta got the same first symbols. Now, A tends to alpha, A tends to beta both come into the same block. So, it is a failure case. So the first condition we have to check if the productions are of the form like this, we have to check for this, for this situation. Let's take an example. S tends to ASA, S tends to BS or C. We have to alpha, beta and gamma. What is first of ASA? A. What is first of BS? B. What is first of C? C. Each one alpha, beta, gamma is having a separate first symbols. So they go into S tends to A, S tends to A, S, A comes to this block, S tends to B, S comes to here, S tends to C comes to here. It is an LL1 grammar because we don't have any collision of two productions in the same block. This is the first condition we have to check. The second one is if our production is of the form A tends to alpha or epsilon means the first symbols in the production A is having epsilon. Then you have to go with follow symbols. That's why if first and follow has common symbols, then A tends to epsilon and A tends to alpha come into the same block. We have to write A tends to epsilon in, in the follow symbols also. If there are common symbols, then the given grammar is not LL1. If you don't have any common symbols, it's okay. It is LL1 grammar. Let's take an example. This is an S tends to A, A, B, 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 A, A, B or Epsilon. What is first of this production? First of A, 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 B, B, A. What is first of this? B. What is the first of this? Epsilon. The first production is A, B, Epsilon. If there is Epsilon, what happens? We have to write the follow symbols also. Here we did not write all the follow symbols, but we are having follow symbols. In the follow symbols, we are having A, B. That is enough. There is a collision. The first production S tends to A, A, B, B comes to S, A. And S tends to Epsilon comes to S, A also. Both are having the same, both are presenting in the same block. So, LL1. It's not an LL1. So this grammar is uh, not an LL1. Uh, we do some more practice examples. Uh, S tends to A, A tends to B, B, C, D, B tends to A, B or Epsilon, C tends to C, C or Epsilon. What is the first of e? S? S tends to A means A, B, C, D. So no common symbols. We can write it in all the places. It's okay. S, A tends to alpha, beta. So what is first of alpha means first of B, B, A, B. What is first of CD? It's CD. Alpha, beta are having the different symbols. So they come to the different blocks. This is our first condition. Assume that this is alpha, assume that this is beta. What is first of BB? AB. What is first of because B is having epsilon, we will get BB. We are not explaining how we are calculating the first and follow. Now coming to the next one, B tends to AB or epsilon. What is first of this production? A. What is first of this production? Epsilon, A comma Epsilon. If you are having Epsilon in the production, you have to check for the follow symbols. What is follow of B? It is B. Both are don't have the common symbol. Now the same way, C tends to CC or Epsilon. First of is C comma Epsilon. And if there is Epsilon, check for follow symbols. What is follow symbol? D. Both don't have the common symbol. 
first and follow don't have the common symbol so this grammar is ll1 like the similarly in the next one s tends to i e t s s dash or a s dash tends to e s or epsilon e tends to b what is the alpha uh, what assume that this is alpha this is beta what is first of i e t s s dash i what is uh, first of uh, a a this production this production is having different first symbols so this is accepted s dash tends to e s or epsilon what is first of s dash e comma epsilon whenever there is epsilon what you have to do check for follow symbol so follow symbol of s dash is e both are having common symbol so this is not an ll1 grammar this is how we can do quickly using a using these two conditions we can identify whether the given grammar is ll1 or not hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept Please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.